what's up guys, SMW here with Cell Force 5, and I bet y'all are wondering, SMW, what the hell's been going on? Where, where, where's the new episodes of uh, Why Hey Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, truth be told, um, I'm a liar. <laughs> uh, I said that, you know, there'd be more consistent episodes coming out, but uh, life gets in the way of an interning um, for school, and that's been a thing. Uh, but I do have some content here related to the video as far as like an apology goes. Uh, I'm super tired at the moment because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I just got done playing some video games with the guys, uh, the other members of Salt Force 5, so I figured I'd go ahead and make this little video. So, I figured I'd do something a little bit different, kind of like a... Uh, what do you call it I so basically you see people who maybe post videos they go out and they find awesome finds and then they come back and talk about it and they may post like the price value or what they picked up why they picked it up and so that's what I did um, I'm gonna be a shill and sell out where I get most of my commons and other valuables when it comes to trading cards, uh, I did pick up a Crystal Blessing today. And I picked up two Crystal Beacons. Excuse me, I'm already getting ahead of myself. Um, I do have a Crystal Beast deck that I'm trying to hollow out. And these two just look amazing. Along with the uh, Crystal Blessing that I have there. Uh, I picked this up for Darkengales. Uh, he likes... Uh, arm dragons um, and he doesn't have one like this so I figured why not right so if you're seeing this I hope you're happy with the ray and then finally this was uh, for me and that disco Dan we have a bit of a love child uh, relationship going on with uh, Elder Hero Neos and with the release of the new Neos support this makes the third one for the deck we actually already have two this makes the third copy so I can finally get rid of that jank ass common. And yes, you see where I'm getting these at. You can see the price that I'm paying for them. This is probably a terrible price to pay for a Neos like this, but hey, I don't care. Uh, vintage stock is where I get most of my cards. And you're probably wondering what is that, or you've probably heard of it, depending if you live in the mid Midwestern part of the United States, then you know what a vintage stock is. Uh, they used to do tournaments back in the day, but thievery and responsibilities were just too much so they did away with it uh, this right here I picked this up it's a value brick I guess you could say and within the contents of this um, package you can see the outer card is Gym Knight Fusion well silly me being extremely tired and exhausted picked this up because I was thinking I was getting brilliant fusion for $7.99 I'm like yeah, that's a steal, but uh, no. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up here, and we're gonna see what else I get. Uh, I'm not really banking on anything super uh, valuable because value cubes tend to be. I don't know. I've always been kind of sketchy of value cubes, especially when they're prepackaged like this and they sort through most of their commons and their rares. So I'm gonna get this done off camera so I don't bore you to death. All right, I think I got through it for the most part. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And we're gonna go through these and see what I actually got. Uh, again, I'm not expecting anything super crazy. Uh, Gym Knight Fusion is not a bad card. It's pretty decent, but it, again, it's not brilliant fusion. Give me a second while I focus in here. So yeah. But that's pretty good. Uh, Gaia, the mid sun, the midnight sun. That's pretty neat. Uh, I like the Gaia cards. Uh, excavation. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's another one. I'll take it. Excuse me. Gaia, the polar night. No, that's pretty neat looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chakram, I don't think that one's a very good artifact. And then there's a terrible rare 
There's a legendary ocean. This, ooh, it's even a magic card. See that? Huh. That would have been that would have been good back in the day at my local school. My local school, my school. Hmm. Lancia. I feel like Lancia is good. There's quite a few artifact cards in here. Uh, a starfoil, or excuse me, um, a um, parallel foil. It's a uh, mosaic, mosaic foil. Alexandra Dragon. It's not bad. Yeah. Again, like I said, I didn't expect to get anything super great out of this. Basically expected to pay for what I got on the front card and that'd be it. But I'm happy with the two other Gaia cards, so I'm not going to complain. Would I buy one of these again? No. <laughs> Just being honest. So the whole point of doing stuff like this, which again, I'm not doing anymore, or these here, if I find good deals like this, I'll definitely make a video if you guys are interested of maybe like twice a month of uh, some interesting finds because you'd be surprised how many people turn around and sell their collection into the store, the stores that I go to, excuse me. And I, you know, uh, find some really good stuff. And I might do like kind of like a, haul video or something I don't know again I'm tired so no that wasn't all I wanted to show you I'm going to open this up as well uh, yes you see the price tag on that that is right well uh, I didn't pay that price so <laughs> just so you know um, you got a considerably good discount on it and my friend knows who he is so I'm not going to drop names because I don't want him to get in trouble just in case if some legality issues come to uh, flourishing. So I appreciate it. I'm gonna open this up real quick and we're gonna get into it. Okay, let's get into this bad boy. So Battle of Legend, Relentless Revenge uh, is the second, uh, I'm guessing second, like second edition of, you know, Battles of Legends, Lights, Revenge. This is uh, part two, I guess you say, or set two. It's a reprint set that has some cool cards and also some uh, anime exclusive cards that are now printed in English. We're also, I'm mainly just looking for eggshell, Dark Lord eggshell and um, more Neo support because I know that some of the Neo stuff is reprinted in preparation for the tens that come out later this year. So I would really, really appreciate any Neo stuff that we get, so. Five cards per pack, 24 packs. Let's get into it. And I believe the secret rare is up front. It's dumb. I don't know why you pack it that way, Konami, but hey, I'm just the guy that buys your product and is a shill and takes, you know, gives you the unnecessary shoutouts you need. Uh, one of the Time Lords, that's pretty neat. Ooh, this guy's really good. Number 41, uh, blurring my camera. I think that's what he's called, right? I'm gonna have to ask you to kind of Focus more on the dude holding the, uh, the pillow here. Come on. Come on. He's beneath you. I apologize. Gets the light off the card. There we go. I'm gonna have to kind of hold it at an angle, but you probably know the card. This is Boguska the Terribly Tired Tapir. Interesting. That is really good. Hey, a Cyber Dragon. I love me some Cyber Dragons. I think I already got a decent card off the bat. Um, Full Metal Foes Alkahest. It's not bad. I don't think, anyways. And, ooh. Borogard Dragon. He's a Link 4. Three effect monsters. Let's see. Now be destroyed by card effects once per turn. You can send one card from your Spell Trapper to the graveyard. Uh, special summon from either graveyard to your field one monster that was destroyed and sent there this turn but negates effects once per turn quick effect you can target one monster on the field change it to face up defense position your opponent cannot activate card effects in response to this card's activation that's really good i like that that's a good link for um again some of these i'm not really i haven't kept up with the prices of the you know the set so i'm just all this is just kind of a surprise to me. Um, 
you know, but more link cards. I'm more than happy to, you know, take some of those because uh, <clears throat> we totally botched the last episode, but you guys seem to like it really good, and that's what matters. Um, again, you know, we're, we're definitely going to have a, a blue, you know, bloopers here and there because we don't play the game religiously like most people, and that, that that's the thing. You know, like, if we played more often and more frequently, we would be more up-to-date with a lot of the stuff. So this is the Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. That's the secret rare. He... Huh. Interesting. I'm not familiar with the Phantom Knights, so you'll have to forgive me. But, you know, if we were more familiar with it, and I've probably done a little bit more research, we probably would have been in, you know, a lot better position than we were in that video. But I still liked the video. There were a lot of good memes. Iron Cage, this is one of the cards that go with the, excuse me, I apologize, this goes with the, the um, fairy tale cards. I understand some of the fairy tale cards had their names changed because um, pre-preparation of rights, that is a really good reprint, I'm happy with that. I'm going to set that aside, Born from the Draconis, Time Lord, and Cyber Emergency. I believe this is a Cyber Dragon support card, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very nice. I'm happy with that. But, you know, at least we try to do some of our homework when we do we, we do make these episodes. And it was really good to have Colonel DeGore back in an episode. It's been too long since we last did one together. An ultra rare perform a not perform a pal, but perform, perform age trick clown. That's pretty good. Solemn Judgment, that's always really good. Um, Altergeist Hysteria. Hextia, Hextia, excuse me. Cyber, lar Cyber Larvae, that did not need a reprint. And Honesty Neos, hot damn. That is That looks really good as a secret rare. Uh, definitely would go great with that uh, Neos that I bought today. <laughs> uh, other, I'm looking for Neos support. I know that some of the... I think all the Neos patients have got uh, reprints in here and have higher rarities than before. So I think what it was a uh, Glow Moss never got anything higher than a uh, common. And so to have, you know, Banishment of the Dark Lords, ooh, that's a Dark Lord card. To have something that's a higher rarity than that would be really nice. So I think it comes ultra rare in this. Or Legacy Heart, uh, Perform Age Damage Juggler. And, ooh, Secret Rare Card Trooper. I know some people were kind of iffy about this card being reprinted as a secret. I think the highest rarity before this was Ultra, so I like it. I love me some Card Troopers, man. Uh, I love some uh, Duke Troop. Duke Troop is pretty fun. When you can pull it off. So. Alright. Next pack. We have Foolish Burial with Goods, right? No, Foolish Burial with Goods. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm right. It just looks weird because the camera's trying to focus at the same time. So I apologize that this is taking a bit to focus. I could just turn off autofocus and just save you the trouble. And you know what? I think I will. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. Foolish Burial with Goods. Itten in the... <laughs> Getting and getting on my damn nerves. And I can go a bit faster doing this too because I can adjust and kind of get an idea of where I'm at. And there we go. So, it in the Conqueror Star, Windrose, Duelist Alliance, and Christron Quandex. That's the secret. Really appreciate the love you guys give us on the episodes, so it's always a good thing. Uh, this guy, Naruto, uh, Tenma Sky Star, one of the other Time Lords. This is for Kaiju's and Hexia Trude. Hexia Trude. She is supposed to be the wicked stepmother. I don't know. I just know that a lot of these, you know, cards got 
their names changed because copyright is a is a thing. Eater of Millions, that is a good ultra. I'm setting that aside. Unizombie, that's another good card. Um, let's see, Litmus Doom Swordsman. Noble Knight Brothers, I know Infrared Shadow will be really happy with that. And then a Secret Rare Merlin. Wow, that is nice. That makes a play set for Infrared Shadow, even though he has the Platinum Rares. I know uh, there's some people out there that don't care for the Platinum Rares, but I agree with some that it's pretty neat. It should come back. Alright, Unending Nightmare, Torrential Tribute, that's a good reprint. Cyframe Driver to go with those Cyframe, um, oh, Gammas? It's the one that you can get as a super rare out of the thing now. That's pretty good. Out of the special editions for uh, one of the previous sets. And wow, are you serious? I just pulled the Golden Castle of Stromberg. Wow. Uh, the worst card in the game, but apparently one of the hardest cards to get because of its chase value. Wow, that actually looks really pretty. That is amazing. Hot damn. All right. That, that's that's really good. <laughs> uh, again, I have not kept up with the prices, but I know that it's one of the harder cards to pull. So, uh, go me. Hey, there's one of my Neospatians. Grand Mole, where you been? Ooh, another Madrat. You you take a seat over there. Um, a Trickstar. Hey, uh, Trickstars win soon tm tg wonder magician why and did we just get another bullard dragon i think we did is he garbage do i have a feeling that he's one of the more like not good um link monsters out of this set? thinking <sighs> cooperate with me we got two packs left on the right side before we move on to the left side of the box uh, I'm still hoping for Ixchel, uh, because Ixchel is bay next to High Priestess. Marito, uh, Slash Draw, Dark Lord Contract, Cyber Dragon, and Orgoth the Relentless. Really? Wow. Uh, Duke Devlin's Ace Monster, apparently. That is pretty neat it's amazing that it took this long to get this card but he's finally here and he's still hot trash <laughs> but uh those who uh want to make their anime anime decks are uh, probably rejoicing with that card's release so i too would be i, I remember when the silhouette calcos came out and everybody's like oh my god it's a thing finally was pumpkin garage and another cyber emergency i will take that now we're on to the left side so i so far am pretty happy this has uh, been a pretty decent box i have no complaints other than uh where's it shell <laughs> another trick clown that's pretty good solemn strike that's also really good. Born from uh, Draconis. Another um, Altergeist Hexteria. Hextia, excuse me. And a Secret Rare Monster Reborn. Wow. Uh, I will take this, thank you. That is sick looking. Wow, this is actually a bit of a good box. We got 11 packs left, including this one, so. One of the Time Lords. Altergeist card. Hmm, interesting. Wow, Con Convert Contact is actually a, a Ultra in this set. That's really cool. So I guess I need to hollow these out in my uh, Neos deck. And another, you know what? I will take it. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I like Card Trooper. So. As far as episode 13 goes, uh, we're planning on doing 
black wings that is the plan anyways preparation of rights that's pretty good so just whenever we get time i say what you know i want to commit make a promise and then you know you guys chew me out for it oh my own guy is saber i will take it and really this got a reprint why what why wasn't this in the megatons to begin with Dragonic Diagram gets a reprint in this set, and I guarantee you that, that True Kings are absolute trash now. And... <laughs> Sorry guys, I am slightly bothered by that. That was back from Maximum Crisis! That was several sets ago. Well, I say several, like... Five. Like, it was... A the reprint was way overdue. Another solemn judgment. That's pretty good. It's a Rephron, right? Cephalon. Cephalon, I think. I'm, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I know I am. I'm just not going to try and butcher it anymore. Bottomless Trap Hole. The Kaiju Files. And another Hexatruth. You know what? A Gamma Seal might be asking a little, you know, might be asking too much, but. Uh, I would love, I would love a Gamma Seal. Uh, I, 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 I think it would be amazing. Ooh, another one of this dude. This dude, ooh, shit, that makes two. Ooh, Pyrorex, the Elemental Lord. I thought, always thought he was really good. Iron Knight, the Earth Star, and number 90, Galaxy Eyes, Photon Lord. Takes two level eight monsters. Is a warrior. If this card has a photon card as a uh, as a material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only use each of the following effects of number ninety once per turn. When your opponent's monster activates its effect, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, negate the monster's activation, and detach the detached. End of the detached material is a galaxy card. Destroy that card. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can take one photon or galaxy card from your deck and either add it to the hand or attach it to this card as a material. That is pretty disgusting. Two level eight monsters. That would be really easy in blue eyes. Uh, in other news, the movie pack is getting another reprint. I don't know how to really feel about that. I... I actually enjoy my uh, gold secret rares there's my boy aqua dolphin i will take that and hummingbird in the same pack Ooh, you're being generous i what no no for real this can't be a short print card two golden castle of stormberg in one box Well, uh, I'm going to be playing the lottery if this is the case. <laughs> Come on, Excel. I want just one Excel and and what's his face? Uh, uh, oops. Okay, so I was rudely interrupted by my camera. Um, yeah. So we got Iron Cage, uh, Ten Mob Star, uh, the Sky Star. Dark Lord Contract, Dual Alliance, Duelist Alliance, excuse me, and Topologic Gumblar Dragon. Oh boy, here we go. Two plus effect, two plus more effect monsters. If another monster is special summoned to a zone and late monster points to while this monster is on the field, discard one or two random cards. Then your opponent's, then your opponent discards the same number during your main phase of this card is in your extra is if this card is extra linked and your opponent has at least one card in their hand you can make your opponent discard one or two cards whichever is higher then if there have no cards left in their hand and inflict 3000 points of damage you can only use this effect once per turn and only once that turn interesting got the cover card all three of the cover cards in the same box, apparently. Um, 
but yeah, when you guys give us feedback and you tell us, like, you know, we do something wrong, we, we don't think you guys are being super snarky or at all, anything of that nature. I mean, we openly welcome the, the criticism and the feedback because it ultimately helps the show and the series get better. And that, that's the whole thing. Hey, another one, I'll take it. And another Orgoth the Relentless. I, I, I'm, okay. This is the, the duplicate box, apparently. Uh, I'm still looking for Glow Moss. Pajolsta, or please, in Russian. World Legacy Discovery. Witness Doom Ritual. Bottomless Trap Hole. TG Wonder Magician. And Tornado Dragon. You know what? I don't. I never got this card, and I'm happy with it. All right, we are down to the last three packs. I am banking on Excel. I am banking on Gamma Seal, and that is it. And I will be happy. Uh, Iron Hans was very with goods. Gaia Saber. There's the Dark Panther, and another Monster Reborn. You know, I yeah. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Am I complaining, guys? I don't think so. I mean, maybe I'm complaining about the fact I'm getting, you know, I've gotten to the the castle and it doesn't seem like it's a short print, so. Ew, get this out of here. No wonder why they reprinted What's-Their-Face and the, all the Crystal Beasts and stuff. The Drots. Uh, another Brothers, really, in the same pack. Another Pump Carriage. And... <laughs> Living Fossil. Not what I wanted. All right, last pack. Uh, Ixchel, please. That's all I want. Please and thank you. All I want is Ixchel. Solemn Strike. Banishment of the Dark Lords. Trickstars. Trickstars win soon, TM. True Kaiju Files. Oh, no, we didn't get it. And it's another Draconic Diagram. Ooh! You know what, though? I'm happy with it. I, 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 overall, I think I had a really good pull. I'm just going to focus in on this mess that I have created here. And, yeah, you can see I'm not very organized. So, overall, I, I think that I had a really good box, had a really good pull. Um, I'm real happy with the uh, Neos that I got and uh, some of the Neospatians. If you noticed, we are actually, we are one away. We are missing that my boy Glow Moss. Um, sorry for all the camera glare. Uh, I, I pulled the cover cards. Uh, I pulled two of the, the castle, which apparently was, I didn't even pull Glass Slippers or Cinderella or whatever her name is in this in the localization of the, uh, the TCG. But um, I'm happy with the extra uh, Noble Arms stuff that I pulled for Justin, or Infrared Shadow, who'd be really happy with that. And yeah, I have no complaints. I just want to say, if, uh, you know, just, uh, again, you know, you guys are what keeps uh, this channel alive. If it wasn't for you guys and you supporting our uh, little endeavor here, as far as, you know, just the moral support you give us, it would be, um, it would just, show wouldn't be possible. And that's just the only way to put it. Um, you guys are what make it happen. And at the end of the day, we, we just want to keep doing what we love to do. And that's uh, make content for you guys to watch and enjoy. Um, after episode 13, we're not sure what we're going to film, but we'll figure something out but anyways guys this has been smw salt force 5 and i'm going to sign out and i'm gonna go get me some sleep because i am super tired so i'll catch you guys later